video I'm going to talk about what I dislike, what I like, and I'm going to answer that all-important question. If I had the chance all over again, would I still buy this bike? Good morning and welcome to, finally, the Trek to Marnie SL5 review video. Right, so the all-important question is, what do I dislike about this bike? So, there are a few things that are a little bit niggly about the bike. Yeah, the first is the top tube. Uh, because obviously I film vlogs, I carry a top tube bag and the black paint um, has marked a little bit, which is quite disappointing how easily that marked. I mean, I've had this top tube bag on a couple of other bikes and it's not made any difference whatsoever. It's a bit disappointing, but the handlebar tape as well. It's nice and comfortable handlebar tape, but it is wearing and I've only done about 3000 K, I think. It seems to have worn quite quickly compared to I've had other bar tape that's lasted a couple of years. It is starting to wear and I don't think it's going to last that long so um, that might have to get replaced at some point. And then the big talking point that everybody asks is the weight. So how do I find the bike weight? Well my previous winter bike was a BMC SL road racer and that was about eight, eight and a half kilograms something like that depending on what you were carrying on the bike. This is over nine kilograms so not a massive difference but most of that is in the wheels. I think the wheels are 2,100 grams. So if you upgrade these wheels to a better set of wheels, you could easily knock a kilogram off and it will be back where my BMC is. But do you notice it? I'm a little bit slower on the hills, yes. But comfort wise, and it just going along on the flat, it is an amazing bike. So the, the wheels haven't, they haven't really put me off the bike, let's put it that way, because I know I can upgrade them. But the bike is heavy in that fact and a lot of that as well is there's 32 c inner tubes in these tires and the spare inner tube i've got in the down tube <laughs> it is heavy itself so when you've got three inner tubes that that probably weigh 500 grams um then you're adding to the weight so you, you could go tubeless and that would certainly save a load of weight or you could get some tubelitos or some really light inner tubes to dissipate the weight a bit but all in all that shouldn't put you off the bike it, it's just not, I mean, they're stock wheels. I mean, it's what you expect from stock wheels, but it doesn't really affect the bike. Although this uh, compartment was a major selling point when I bought the bike, um, the compartment itself, I mean, you can see, that's not, <laughs> it's in there, <laughs> but it doesn't come in and out very easily. There's one of the questions I wanted to know is, does it come with the bike, uh, the bag come with the bike in the pocket? And yes, it does. Um, it says to put a pump, inner tube, tire levers. It is a tight squeeze. It's hard to roll up and it barely fits in there most of the stuff that you do is in the top part of the bike and then we got this itself which is uh, quite flimsy I mean it doesn't quite sit on the bike very well it's a great gadget and it keeps the bike nice and clean when the bottles in there it is a little bit wobbly but it's not it's not gonna turn me off the bike but that is it those are the few things that I don't like about the bike so all pretty much not a lot really to moan about because this bike itself is probably the most comfortable bike I've ever ridden. It just absorbs the road. Right, so when I was looking to buy a bike, I was looking at it had to be discs, had to be Shimano 105, had to be a similar replacement to the BMC that it was replacing. And uh, the variety of bikes I looked for this one just looked amazing so it was the looks then the compartment and the color likes what do I like about this bike well it is the most comfortable bike I have ever ridden by far it just dampens up the road that ISO speed really works you read the gump and you think does it really work it absolutely does it smooths out rough roads makes 
descending on it is just incredible because it is so smooth, so comfortable. And with the disc brakes as well, it just gives you so much confidence and it is fast downhill. Despite the wheels, um, it just flies downhill. I hit 92 kilometers an hour the other week, just going downhill and not pedaling. It's, <laughs> it is a really fast bike. I mean, it is sleek, it's aero without the saddle bag, without any of the cables. It is properly aero. It's a really fast bike. It's fast on the flats. It goes uphill well enough. The gearing is amazing. Blender stem is another plus. I love the fact that you can connect your Wahoo on the blender stem and you can have GoPro or in this case, I've got my Insta360 mount underneath um, and it just looks so neat. It's all nice lines. Just really clever that is. Just, I mean, this is just beautiful. Um, I really like the idea of this, even though it is a little bit flimsy. The act of practicality of not having a saddle bag and how clean the bike looks, it just looks immense with nothing on it. You can put what you need in your back pockets, everything else can go in there. It just looks amazing and, and like I say, the colour is superb. I'm looking at Hunt Aero 30s to put on it, which are like 1300 grams, so you're looking at 800 grams. If you go tubeless and take out the tyres, I reckon you're going to save over a kilogram on this bike. So the question I get asked the most is, is it heavy? Yeah, over nine kilograms it is heavy. But on the hills, the, the gearing is brilliant, the 34 for around here. We've got short climbs, about 10 minutes long, but they're sort of 10% to 25%. So you need some better gears anyway, especially at my age, I'm getting old. But it is just an amazing bike. question you're all asking is if I was looking for another bike again knowing what I know now about this bike would I buy it again 100% yes I would spend my money just like that it is a fantastic bike and the only real downside is the weight and like I say with those wheels you can shave a kilogram off I mean this is a 400 gram saddle as well so with the physic on there you're saving another couple hundred grams if you're a weight weenie there are things you can change but it's, it's a heavier bike because you've got disc brakes, but the advantage you've got going downhill on this thing, it is just immense downhill. So much confidence. I just absolutely love this bike. So if you're thinking about buying one, and this is the video that tells you to buy it, I hope you go and buy this bike. If you can find one, they are very, very hard to find. So if you like this video and you found it useful and it's made your mind up about buying this bike, do go ahead and buy it. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and we will see you soon in the next video. But do buy the bike. It is one awesome piece of kit.